Hello and welcome to Managerity TV, your channel for advanced Power BI, financial analytics and artificial intelligence. In this episode, we are covering a topic close to my heart, or as others might say, liver. Wine. We will analyze a data set of 150,000 wine reviews and see what interesting findings we can make. Cheers. So here we can see now the starting point of my analysis, which is based on 150,000 wine reviews plus some variety details for the wine variety from some specialized uh, wine databases that I've combined here. Here I have the wine details, I have the variety details, I have the details of the uh, winery. Here we can see the keywords that were extracted using Azure Cognitive Services and we've also applied sentiment analysis on the review to tell us if it's positive or negative on a scale from 0 to 1 with 0.5 being neutral. And then we have country and regional in, uh, details and then finally the reviewer. Any of these objects I can expand so if I want to have a look at the details of the review. I can just expand it here and I see all the details, uh, particularly important the, the points, so the quality of the wine, the price, the sentiment and then also some pictures and with the pictures it's quite interesting this wasn't part of my database. We've added this dynamically using uh, an API query. So based on the name of the wine we are returning, we're doing a search and then returning the picture the link to the picture of the label here. So let's do a little bit of a practical example. We want to find the perfect wine for our partner. And the first thing is let's filter on the country. We know she loves Italian wines, so let's filter on the country. So just put in Italy. We have about 18,000 wines from Italy here. Now our report will only cover items from Italy. So some of you might wonder now why I have all these tables here as opposed to some glossy chart visuals. And the reason is that for more complex analyses, a table is just way more powerful and I quickly explain why. For example, if I look at the wine regions in Italy, I can see now all the wine regions. I can very easily sort. So I can say, give me so the region with the highest quality wines in Italy, just one click. Then I get support from conditional formatting here in the table. So I can see red is a high price and green is a lower price. But what I can do from here is I can combine the table with a chart. So if I move the mouse pointer here, I've got now a custom tooltip which gives me the charts for this particular detail. And I can see now this is the, for this region in Italy, this is where it's located from an overall uh, standpoint and a more detailed one. What's the average price um, in this region? What's the average number of points and what wines are produced? And this dynamically changes. So a much more effective way than chart visualizations. These make sense, but only if you really want to track ongoing metrics um, as opposed to more in-depth analysis that we're doing here. And the other thing that we want to do here now is we know she loves cherry. So let's see if we can filter now on wines with a cherry flavor. And we can see we've got 1,300 wines or wine reviews with a cherry flavor here. And again, all the other visuals will adapt. So we can see now the wines, the variety with a cherry flavor, wineries, country, and also the tasters that have done this. You can see the details here now. Um, we see the picture. You can see the first one might be a little bit above our budget with $120. Let's have a look at this. So we see this is the uh, eighth in the category for Brunellos. So a pretty good one. But um, let's have a look at the next one. That's a Nebbiolo. Oh, we know she loves Nebbiolo. The label looks great. And this is the fifth in the category, so the fifth best Nebbioli that was ever reviewed in these 15,000 reviews. So it looks, sounds like the, the perfect wine for us. And what we can do here from here now, we just scroll a little bit to the right. So now we get all the details. 
And we have also a purchase link, and this is also what we generated automatically. This wasn't in our database in Power BI to automatically guide us to the purchase site for this wine. And here we see now our wine, the Barolo. We can purchase this now straight from here. This was an example of the general analysis power in Power BI. I would like to move on now to some more advanced topics. So here we can see now more advanced analytics and AI methods. And this is the key influence of visual in Power BI that uses naive base algorithms to find interesting outcomes, drivers uh, for particular target values and categories that you set. And in my case, I've used as the target category, the, the, the point class of the wine. So I broke it up into uh, a low points category, average, good, and as we say in Australia, a cracker. So let's have a look what's driving cracker category wine. So with a very high points result. And we can see now the visual has automatically now come up with uh, different suggestions and we can see the uh, one of the key influence factors is the price. If the price is more than $155, the likelihood uh, increases uh, 50 times. Then we see another price factor. If it's between 77 and 155, again, the likelihood increases tenfold. This is interesting now, as you can see, it does this by all dimensions of my data set. So if the province is port, it goes up uh, 10 times. If the province is Mosul, let's have a look at this. Um, so we see here in this province, we have um, 95 uh, wine reviews and 5% of them are crackers, which is comparatively a fairly high result. If you look at the top one, here we have 19 results and the, the percentage is higher. Um, but obviously we have here a much larger result set. So one thing is to find the drivers. The other thing is segments. So let's see here if the algorithm has found interesting segments and it has found three segments. We can see here the population class. So this was 3,900, 4,800, 6,500 uh, data points. And let's have a look uh, at a particular segment here. So we see now in this segment, color red and price greater than 77. Uh, this is a segment where 10% uh, of the wines are crackers with a very high quality. And we can also learn a little bit more. So we see this now broken down. It looks like um, we are higher in Bordeaux with cracker reviews. Port, we already knew that was pretty high. Burgundy is a little bit lower than what we would expect. Um, here, red blend, pretty much in line. Um, a little bit lower actually with the, with the cracker. Chardonnay, crack also a bit lower with the good ones, it has a higher share. And with the point, we saw that already before, we have a very high share. So if it's a port wine, the likelihood that it's a cracker goes up dramatically. And like this, um, the system automatically gives me now other insights uh, into this data set. So this was a quick overview of how you can use the power of Power BI for Vivi Analytics, also in combination with some Azure cognitive services, um, in this case for the keywords and for the sentiment analysis, and also search engine APIs, the Bing uh, API, to dynamically retrieve uh, pictures for the ones. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us and we're happy to discuss your project requirements.